I find it a bit interesting that there are some people out there that are the most patient things ever, you know? Oh, you're 40 minutes late? Oh, that's fine, man. We, we all get a bit tardy every now and then. Oh, you just asked me to repeat what I said three times, but you still can't understand? Well, you're a complete moron. I'll give you that much. But, but don't worry, I'll repeat myself. It'd be nice if everyone was like this, you know? If everyone could take the time out of the day to realize some humans require more patience in time than others. But of course, you know, not everyone's like this. In fact, not a lot of people are like this. I, I don't know what it is, but, but some people are on a fucking time bomb. They, they're ready to snap the moment you try to ask for any sort of assistance. You know, and I'm sure we've all encountered a bunch of these types of people growing up. You know, classmates, coworkers, teachers, supervisors, even parents. Yeah, yeah, parents. Back around the elementary school days, I remember this one time asking my dad for help on my math homework. Never again would I ever make that mistake. <laughs> Never again. I, I I think it was a multiplication homework. And the question was something like, what's three times seven? And I'm like, dad, uh, I, I don't really understand this. Can you help me with this? So he walks over. He sits down near the table with me. And he's like, whoa, wait, three times seven? What? Th this is easy. You should know this. No, 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 no. What's, what's three times seven? He's asking me. And I'm like, uh, 12? And, and, and then he says at a slower pace, what's three times seven? And I'm like, uh, uh, 37? What's three times seven? And I'm just there sitting. Uh, uh, 37? Okay, son. I'm gonna ask you one more time. What's three times seven? Seven. My father's gotten a lot better at parenting now, but after that day, so many emotions were going through my head. The fear of asking for help. The fear of failure. Sometimes, j just seeing the numbers three and seven spooked the hell out of me. I had it even worse with some of my teachers. Teachers, uh, again, some of them, because the majority of them did their job right and helped you in every way that they could, but some of them, I, I can't even say they had no patience. Man, that doesn't even cover it. It wouldn't even define, it wouldn't even come close to the bullshit that we had to go through. There were teachers out there, legit speed running lessons, right? And if you ask them, hey, hey, can you slow down? Can you repeat what you just said? Can you go back? I think I missed something on that slide. They'd either A, get really upset and say something like, uh, next time pay more attention or you'll have to get the notes from someone else. Uh, but you know, they'd still repeat themselves and went back to the previous slide. Or B, if they were the really bad ones, they said, no. No? <laughs> what, what do you mean, no? You're, you're a teacher. You're supposed to be helping us. That's your job. Like, uh, imagine if people in other professions did some shit like that. I'm drowning. Someone help me. And then the four lifeguards on duty are like, no. Imagine having surgery and the surgeon just stops midway and goes, nah, this is taking too long. I don't feel like it. Turns off the lights, goes home while you're while, while you're on the operating table. Body still opened up and everything. Like, wait, no, no, no. How about stop being a little bitch and so do your job? You know, how, how about stop being a little bitch and just having some patience? You know, I mean, obviously, if you're someone with a job that requires a lot of patience, you should be criticized more for having none. But this example goes out to everyone. Slow down. Relax. I get it. It's hard. All right. Take a deep breath. Let's be nice and have patience with one another. Because throughout my life, I've had to deal with lots of people who've had none for me. Maybe it's just human nature, and I'm not trying to say some we live in a society, you know, type of shit. But I feel like if I was sinking up to my neck in quicksand and asking people around me for help, I can guarantee they'd rather yell at me and tell me why I messed up instead of just helping me get out the damn quicksand. Ooh. It is I, kneecaps of the future, here to hypnotize you to tell you that if you're not in kneecaps discord server, you're a little bitch. Alright, that's about it. Have a good day.